What's going on everybody? It's Comics for Cheap. Today I'm bringing you a haul video of books I got for roughly 30 cents a piece. Well, let's see how I did. Alright everyone, my name is James aka Comics for Cheap and today I'm going through some of the best of the best books that I got for 30 cents a pop. Before we go any further, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know all that usual nonsense. Also hit up my merch store, I have some new designs, I'll try to feature them over in this area, uh, but some new designs in the shop, uh, link is down in the description. Buying a shirt, hat, hoodie really helps out the show uh, and slash or helps feed my dogs. And you don't want the dogs to starve! Or maybe you do, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so I went out to uh, a buddy of mine, he has a storage unit full of comics he was looking to move some dollar books this guy's been established in the game for a little while as a comic vendor i knew that i wasn't going to be finding anything absolutely crazy uh you know like oh my gosh um you know your typical dollar stuff but he has pretty good dollar bins as it is and this was stuff that he hadn't touched in a while so i figured it would be worth my shot ended up filling up about two long boxes for about $200. So everything roughly about evens out to 30 cents a piece. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you two long boxes of stuff. I'm gonna show you the best of the best, minor key kind of stuff. Uh, the point of these videos is to show you a little bit about what you can find if you're digging through those 50 cent bins, dollar bins, $2 bins, stuff like that. Just to give you an idea of what the book looks like. Uh, if you're paying attention, um, I know that you can learn a little bit. And then the next time that you spot it, you can know whether or not you should grab it uh, I've been hit up on Instagram for my last couple of videos of people finding certain books that I talk about in these videos and uh, they're able to speculate on them and make a little bit of money so that's kind of cool but without further ado let's see how I did okay so let's start with a lot of Batman I don't usually pull Batman especially newer Batman but at 30 cents a book it seemed worth a shot from the new 52 run we have Batman zero a retelling of the origin of Batman Number 13 and the variant for 13, which is the return of the Joker. Number 40, death of Batman and the Joker. Number 43, which is the first appearance of Mr. Bloom, a provider of seeds that are internalized, temporarily granting a person superpowers, but at the cost of their lives. And number 44, which is the origin of Mr. Bloom. From Detective Comics, I grabbed 817, the first appearance of Tally Man, and number 821, the first appearance of Facade. Continuing with Batman Volume 1, we have number 627, the first appearance of Linda Freitawa, who becomes Fright. 637, the third appearance of the Red Hood. 651, the death of Magpie. 663, which introduces a new personality of the Joker. 664, the first appearance of Ellie and a couple copies of 500, which is a milestone issue where Azrael defeats Bane. Okay, moving away from Batman now, we have Ghost Rider 76, a classic battle between Johnny Blaze and Zarathos. The Punisher Annual 2, where the Punisher and Moon Knight meet for the first time. I got a couple of copies here of Amazing Spider-Man 329, the debut of Spider-Man's Captain Universe suit and the first appearance of the Tri-Sentinel. Number 343, the first cameo appearance of Cardiac. Also have annual number 20, the first appearance of Iron Man 2020, aka Arno Stark. I also have Web of Spider-Man 90, Sealed, which is the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099 on a double page poster teaser. Then we have a possible long shot speculation book. Uh, that's Avengers 6 from the 2010 series. This is the first full appearance of the next Avengers. Toron, Henry Pym Jr., Francis Barton, James Rogers, Azari, the son of T'Challa and Storm. Uh, the speculation is that Azari could take the mantle of T'Challa in the Black Panther movie, but a logical speculation is still that Marvel will turn to Shuri. I got Eternals Herod Factor 1, the first appearance of Brother Visara, Dark Angel, and Sabaroth. Got a couple of Hulk books here, including a lower grade 212, which is the first appearance of the Constrictor. 
282, which is the first team up of the Incredible Hulk and She-Hulk, the first time they fought side by side, and uh, it's like maybe a good grab for the upcoming She-Hulk show. 364, the first appearance of Madman. 366, the first appearance of the Riot Squad. 367, where Dale Keown begins his artwork on the Hulk. 368, the first appearance of the Pantheron. 372, the return of the green-skinned Hulk. And finally, 388, the first appearance of Speed Freak. I got Fantastic Four 286, the return of Jean Grey and the second appearance of X-Factor. Speaking of X-Factor, I got X-Factor number two. The first appearance of RT Maddox, a mutant with the ability to project holograms of his thoughts. And X Factor 4, the first appearance of Frenzy. Picked up a couple of spawn issues, including number 13, the origin of Chapel's disfigurement at the hands of Spawn. And 17, the first full appearance of the Redeemer. I got Web of Spider-Man 15, the first appearance of Chance. And number 20, the 25th anniversary cover. Picked up What If 25, which features a small, like, one-page story, including a character that's very, very reminiscent of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Catwoman number one from Ed Brubaker, the first cameo appearance of Todd Russell's Clayface. Marvel's Four, which is a classic cover by Alex Ross. I got Green Arrow number 12, the first appearance of Onomatopoeia, a serial killer who speaks only in sounds. Uh, that's a villain that, who was created by Kevin Smith. New Teen Titans 35, the first cameo appearance of Vigilante. Guardians of the Galaxy 9, the first full appearance of Rancor. Wolverine 38, the first appearance of LCD and second appearance of Albert. G.I. Joe 59, the first appearance of Jinx, Tunnel Rat. Outback, Blindmaster, and Raptor. Here's another nice little long shot, long term spec book for you. Uh, Secret Wars, Volume 2, Number 3. It's the first full appearance of the Beyonder in his ongoing human form with dark curly hair. Uh, also found with it is uh, Number 4, the first cameo appearance of Curse, formerly the Dark Elf Algrim. And Number 5, which is the first appearance of Boom Boom, the mutant who can create energy bombs. Grabbed quite a few new mutants. Uh, here are some of my favorites. Number 32, the introduction of Madripoor, a fictional island in Southeast Asia. Number 50, the cameo appearance of Grimjack. 66, the first appearance of Spider and Gossamer. 95, the death of Warlock. And Annual 5, the first team appearance of Surf and the first appearance of Cole, Spike, and String. Finally, I picked up a huge stack of Silver Surfer that I'm very excited about, and included in that stack are number 46, which is the reintroduction of Adam Warlock, Gamora, and Pip, the troll, in the Soul World, which is located inside the Soul Gem. 63, the first cameo appearance of the Silver Surfer's Dark Half. 69, the first cameo of Morg the Executioner. 70, the first full appearance of Morg the Executioner, the Herald following Nova, who enhanced the powers given to him by Galactus, making him more powerful than the Silver Surfer. Then we have number 72, the first appearance of Nebula as a cyborg. And lastly, number 75, the death of Frankie Ray, aka Nova. All right, guys, and that wraps up my haul video. Again, please like, subscribe, check out the merch shop, all that crazy all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. And as always, stay villainous.